hey guys welcome back so in this one we're gonna be setting up a tracking model for all our models so a little bit of background every time you create a Django model you're going to need a few things so those are gonna be when objects of that model are created when they are updated how they are retrieved so most of those things are going to be common in your application now Django doesn't provide fields like created that updated that on, on each model you create so we're going to be setting up a helper to make sure that every time we create a model, we can quickly add those details at once. So I'm going to go in the root of the project and I'm going to have a folder called helpers. So over here, I'm going to say helpers. Now I'm going to have a danda init file inside it. So danda init. Okay. So also here, I'm going to create a new file called models.py. So in here, I'm going to set up a model that we will reuse. So I'm going to say class tracking model. So it's going to inherit from models dot model. Now we need to import models. So from Django DB import models. Okay, like that. So now we can set up our created that and updated that columns. So you can say created at. So created that it was going to be a date time field. So every time an object is created, we want to set the created that date to the current date. So here you can say auto now add. We set that one to true. We also want to create the updated that. So for the updated that here, we can say auto now true. So that's going to indicate that every time an object is updated, we should be able to insert the current time when it was updated in the updated that field or technically called the quorum. So we're also going to set up a way that our objects are going to be ordered. So most of the times you want to be ordering objects by like the create date in descending order. So here we are going to set up a class meta. So in the class meta, we can set up ordering. Then we want to set it to created at. So I'm going to bring this one here. So if you want to set objects in ascending order, we'll do it like this. But if we want descending order, then we can put a minus behind. So that's how you do it. Another thing I want to do is I want to label this model as abstract, meaning we shouldn't be using this model to create new instances because this model is really generic and it doesn't really make sense to create objects of the tracking model really. So here we can say abstract equals true. Okay, so now that we have this one set up, then now we can go to our models for the authentication since that's where we want to start by creating a custom model. So over here, I'm going to create a class. I'm gonna call it user. Then we are going to inherit from the tracking model. So we can get those two fields also. So in here, I'm going to put the pass for now, then we'll come back to it. So let's import the tracking model. So from helpers, models, import the tracking model. Okay, so also as we are here, I want to, to add the apps we created in the settings.py installed app section, because that is required if we want to like work with the database. It tells Django where to look when we run specific commands. So I'm going to go to our, our main project folder. So that's to do list API, then settings PY. Then over here, now we can add our authentication and also the to do's. Okay, so now that we have this one set up in the next section, we're going to be setting up our custom user model. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next section.